In order to create a beam with a chamfered or filleted ends like we've got here, then we're going to need to do the following steps. So, for example, I'll go ahead and do it on this side, and I'll go to this view. I've got a nice zoomed in view, and what we'll do is we'll use, in this case, in the Structure tab or the Architecture tab, either one should work, but I think uh, the Structure tab has the By Face tool. So click on that, and then hover over the face of the beam that you want to go ahead and change the profile for. So I want to make sure that I'm on the right face. I'll go ahead and select uh, the face of this beam. Uh, it'll launch me into sketch mode, and then I'll draw, essentially, the area of the beam that I want to get cut out of here. So I'll go ahead and draw a couple lines, then I might use my uh, fillet uh, arc tool here. I'll set it to a radius to six inches. I'll hover over these guys and select, and then I'll go ahead and then use my trim tool to kind of get this all trimmed out. So that way, basically, I have a boundary of the geometry I want to cut, and then it's just a matter of finishing the edit mode. You're going to get a little warning message here that the opening partially cuts its host, which is fine. And there you go, you've got your uh, chamfered or filleted end to that beam.